Wanted to give a little project update on what we have going with the Max ECU Mini. So this is in a 2001 Toyota 4Runner. It's running in parallel with the stock ECU. And uh, I have it in prototype mode right here, but this should all fit in the glove box just fine when it's done. Um, and uh, yeah, it's running great. As you can see, it's got like a rock steady idle. I've got it just idling here coming along at like 700 RPMs. You can see where it was, I tapped into the factory coolant temperature sensor and uh, intake air. It just has a um, kind of a basic tune that I've been putting together for it and it is already way better than stock. So I can tell by uh, just adding extra fuel that it doesn't have from factory and uh, giving it like a nice healthy amount of ignition timing. This is basically tabletop at like 24 degrees um, throughout most of the uh, full throttle range. It just, it pulls a lot harder. And um, here's like a rough Lambda target table. I'm just feeding it in some fuel up top at peak torque. Um, and uh, yeah, just got like a generic kind of base tune on this that I've done on the street. No dyno tuning yet. I do plan to take it to the dyno and see what just the tune does, but I can tell kind of seat of the pants from what I've seen, it's probably like 10% increase. Um, I did use my draggy and I was able to pick up two tenths in my zero to 60. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know yet. We're, I want to put it on the dyno. I think really where you pick up is like the mid range and the low end. Um, that's where you can just feel it. It's so much more responsive. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's really punchy, honestly, like compared to the stock, compared to the stock ECU, it is way more responsive. And, uh, just for fun, I hooked up launch control. As you can tell, this is an automatic and I just found a clutch start cancel switch because it fits here and it's nice and like kind of, uh, you know aesthetically looks decent instead of just a big red button but i've got launch control set up at like 3500 rpm so if i hold this and then just pull it up to three so anyway that's kind of fun when you have a full standalone ecu you can do a lot of cool stuff like that but yeah it uh runs and drives great just in a parking lot here, but just throw it into gear and just cruises around, no big deal. Just kind of part throttle cruising around. So anyway, I'm loving it. I love the Max ECU and uh, the software is really easy to use, but we're going to try to do a dyno and uh, I'll keep you posted on the dyno, but for right now, it's loving it. Um, also doing this in anticipation of adding a supercharger, so stay tuned and we uh, might get that on the channel here soon. Thanks. All right, let me show you launch control in the 4Runner with the Max ECU. Um, so I'm going to pull it down into first. Click the launch control, full launch control, and then I lift. There we go. Pretty funny. Eh? So we got the Max ECU ready and connected, and this is just uh, what a startup looks like. Rock steady. <laughs> 